Chapter 9, section 9.2 is the introduction to stoichiometry. Stoichiometry deals in amounts in a chemical reaction. There are two necessities. You must have a balanced equation. From that balanced equation, you must get and use the mole to mole ratio between a given and something that you're trying to find in a chemical reaction. So here's our first example. And you always need a balanced equation first. So we'll write that. We have silver nitrate with aluminum, which we know to be a single replacement reaction. So that's going to yield silver plus aluminum nitrate. And then we have to have the balanced equation. So we're going to go ahead and balance it. We need three nitrates, which means we need three silvers. So we have a 3-1-3-1 ratio. Our givens in the problem are 23 grams of silver nitrate, and we need to find how many grams of silver. And so we'll write that here. 23 grams of silver nitrate. Question, how much grams of silver are there? We will stoic from silver nitrate to silver. So we'll place 23 grams of silver nitrate all over one times draw a line bring down the grams of the silver nitrate which is going to equal one mole of silver nitrate when we go to the chart we get 169.88 grams of silver nitrate we're going to bring down mole of silver nitrate and here is where we'll do our mole to mole ratio so this is the step where you want to do a mole to mole ratio. We're going to go from moles of silver nitrate to moles of silver because that's what our given is and what we're trying to end up on. Okay, our ratio is going to come from the coefficients. There are three moles of silver nitrate to three moles of silver. We have one more step to go because they want our answer to be in grams. So we'll bring down moles of silver. It's always one mole except in the mole to mole ratio. And we're going to go to grams of silver. Go to the periodic table and that's 1.787. To make your final calculation, we will take the 23 grams divided by the 169.88. We're going to do times 3 divided by 3, which really cancels out, times 107.87. And that's going to give us 14.6. However, because our given has two sig figs, two sigs, we want our answer to have two sigs as well. So our answer is actually going to be 15 grams of silver. Number two, how many moles of water will be produced from 75 grams of barium hydroxide plus excess nitric acid? This is also a double replacement reaction, which is going to yield me water and barium nitrate. We have the following amounts given to us. 75 grams of barium hydroxide and they want to know how many moles of water. So this is what we're trying to find. From 75 grams of barium hydroxide, how many moles of water are we going to produce? So we're stoiking from barium hydroxide to the water. So I'm going to put my given 75 grams of barium hydroxide all over one times draw a line. Bring down grams of barium hydroxide. And we're going to go to mole of barium hydroxide. We'll go to the periodic table and determine the molar mass of barium hydroxide, which is 171.35 times draw line. Bring down mole of barium hydroxide. And we want to go from the moles of barium hydroxide 
to the moles of water. And so we'll put moles of water at the top. We're going to use our coefficients. And this equation, this equation needs to be balanced, which we didn't do. So we're going to do that now. Okay, so our coefficients are 1 barium hydroxide to 2 waters. And then finally, because they wanted us to solve for moles, and that's what we have here, we're finished setting up the problem. So to calculate our final answer, we'll take 75 divided by 171.35 times 2, and that's going to give us 0.875. However, because this is two sig figs, our answer will be 0.88 moles of water. Number three, we have a combustion reaction, C5H10O plus O2 yields CO2 and H2O. We'll make sure that it's balanced. So we are given 2.3 moles of carbon dioxide and we're asked to find how many moles of oxygen. So we're striking from carbon dioxide to oxygen. So we'll start with 2.3 moles of CO2 all over 1. We're going to bring down moles of CO2, and we're going to go from moles of CO2 to moles of oxygen. We'll use the coefficients. We have 5 moles of CO2 to 7 moles of oxygen. And finally, because they want moles, and that's what we have here, we're finished setting up the problem. So we will... use 2.3 times 7 divided by 5 equals and we get 3.22 but because we want to use our sig figs this is two sigs so our answer should have should be 3.2 moles of oxygen number four we have cesium carbonate which yields cesium oxide plus CO2. It's a one to one to one ratio. Our givens in the problem are 1.75 times 10 to the negative five kilograms of cesium carbonate. And we wanna know how many moles of carbon dioxide will we end up with? So 1.7 times 10 to the negative five kilograms. And we're trying to determine the moles of carbon dioxide. So we're stoiking from cesium carbonate to carbon dioxide. 1.7 times 10 to the negative 5 kilograms of cesium carbonate over 1. Times draw line will bring down the kilograms of cesium carbonate and we're going to go to grams of cesium carbonate. 1 kilogram equals 1,000 grams times your line, bring down grams of cesium carbonate, and we're going to go to mole, one mole of cesium carbonate. To get the grams, we're going to go to the periodic table and add up the grams of cesium carbonate, which is 325.83 times draw line, and now We'll bring down the moles of the cesium carbonate. We are going from cesium carbonate to carbon dioxide. So we'll go to moles of carbon dioxide. And then we're going to use our coefficients, which in this case happen to be a 1 to 1 ratio. So 1 to 1. Now, we're going to use our scientific calculator, 1.7 e to the negative 5, and that's going to be times 1,000 divided by 325.83 equals. And we get 
5.217 E negative 5, but since we only want two sig figs, our answer is going to be, so there's our two sigs, so we want 5.2 times 10 to the negative 5 moles of CO2. Number five, we have silver nitrate, which reacts with calcium chloride to yield silver chloride and calcium nitrate. When we balance our equation, we should have a 2 1 2 1 ratio. Okay. Our givens in the problem are 38 grams of silver nitrate, and we're trying to find grams of silver chloride. We're going to stoic from silver nitrate to silver chloride. 38 grams of silver nitrate over 1. Bring down grams of silver nitrate, and that equals one mole of silver nitrate. And so we should get 169.88 grams. Times draw line, we'll bring down moles of silver nitrate. And we're going from silver nitrate to silver chloride. So moles of silver chloride. And you'll notice that our ratio is two silver nitrates to two silver chlorides. Finally, we'll bring down mole of silver chloride, one mole, and we're going to get the grams, which is 143.32. So now we can get our final answer, and we'll go back to the regular calculator. 38 divided by 169.88 times 2 divided by 2, which essentially cancels out, times 143.32. And that gets us 32.05. And since we only need two sigs, then that means our answer is 32 grams of silver chloride.